It's not just good to listen to, but it's also a cultural commodity. And anyone who's studying music, and especially jazz music, is almost certain to need to know how to read sheet music. In fact, no big ensemble or orchestra performs without sheet music, with every one of the instruments needing to be noted. Well, the lack of sheet music or scores dealing with South African jazz classics, argues our guest this morning, is stunting the development of South African music. Welcome uh, and good morning to Linda Ndoni, who's going to speak to us further about this. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we listen to that beautiful music and mm. somehow we don't think about what it takes to put it together and the importance of sheet music and everybody sitting there looking at their nose to make it sound so melodic. Mm. Speak to us uh, briefly about the importance of transcribing specifically South African jazz classics. Okay. Basically, currently in South Africa, we don't have books for our young up-and-coming musicians to, uh, to, to be able to play South African music. You know, when they are in, in school and colleges and tertiary institutions, they are taught with American music, Eurocentric music, simply because South Africans have not taken the upon ourselves to actually uh, have this music. We don't have it. That's a pity, because you know uh, we lose by by that we're losing our tradition. We're losing the preservation of our music, and we find our kids turning to other types of music from outside of South Africa, and not that it's their fault that we don't provide it for them. Why? So, Why not? Why have we not been able to provide for them? I really don't know because uh, I was introduced that uh, myself, I was introduced this by Victor, my late husband, who was very passionate about um, preserving South African music and he actually wrote a lot of the charts of South African music. Uh, I don't know, I can't answer you, I don't understand why it is not there. I mean we are 20 years into democracy and we don't have it mm. and we have to start doing it. Mm. And we as Heart and Music Development, we are doing our best, we are trying you know, to, to try. It's a big, big monumental uh, uh, thing that needs to be done because it hasn't been done before. Imagine music from the 20s, uh, from the 30s. We need to, to notate it and, and put it as, you know, shit, shit music because, you know, like this big ensemble, that's what it's doing, it's reading music. Do we have the expertise, though, to do what you're, you're, you're asking the country oh, to do? Oh, 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 that's a big one. It's limited and it's few and very, very few. You know, we need to develop our young musicians to be able to arrange. Mm -hmm. We need to develop them to be able to transcribe music. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's, it's, it's something that needs to be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. It really needs to be. I mean, the Americans are 100 years ahead of us, you know. Hence, we fall back on their music. When mm -hmm. we have such a, 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 a rich... Um, history of our own music mm. but it dies the minute the minute that the composer dies that's the end of oh it oh my goodness and you i mean see? in the in the opening i said it, it was not just good to listen to it's a cultural commodity and that's exactly what you're talking about Absolutely. now it's a piece of us yes. it's a piece of our history mm. is it though a lucrative career so for someone who's thinking i i like music i enjoy music mm -hmm. many of us perhaps want to be in front of the microphone or, or or playing an instrument very few think about i want to transcribe music is it something that one can do sustainably for for years and can they be um a decent living to be made from that that's a very good question because if you just sing uh, and you don't know what you are singing in terms of musically you are very limited. You will sing the same song for 20 years and you will not grow. But if you can read music, if you can write music, and if you can, you know, arrange and you understand what you're doing, you grow, you grow uh, beyond your, you know, when you start doing quieter, for instance, you're a young person, you listen to quieter, that's what you want to do, it's good. But as you get to the age of 50, 40, 50, you'll not be doing quieter, will you? You need to grow. You need to grow in anything, in any career, you need to grow. 
And uh, what makes you grow is the knowledge that you have. When you don't have knowledge, you are very limited. And mm -hmm. if writing music and transcribing music is knowledge, that's mm -hmm. why people go to school to learn it, as I would go to school to do medicine. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's just that people, when they see a, play, a person playing guitar, they think, well, you know, it feels good. It's a feel. It's not mm -hmm. only a feel. There's a lot that goes into that mm -hmm. for that guitarist to get to that particular stage. So we have to take music seriously mm. and we have to take our heritage seriously. Preserving our legacy mm. is very, very important. If we don't do it, we will lose it. In about 20 seconds uh, or less, uh, speak to us about how you're championing this initiative through the Mzansi Music Ensemble. Um, Zanzi Music Ensemble is composed of uh, young, young and upcoming artists who are really not known but who've been to school to study music and uh, we're giving them a platform to actually expose them, you know, to, to, to audiences so that they are known. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, our goal is to make sure that they are known and then they break out on their own mm -hmm. to be, you know, the best that they can be. But we're just giving them that platform to explore their talent and to be able to explore, you know, South mm -hmm. African music because the Mzansi Music Ensemble plays strictly mm -hmm. South African music classics. Love it. And we're not doing the current trends. We're going back mm -hmm. and bringing the old music into and the current I think trends. Some of yes. the, the golden oldies that That's we have. Thank right. you so much. Yeah. Well, if you're interested in that, Mzansi Music Ensemble, check them out to Google and find out when they're going to be performing and where. Um, and that was Umamuli Dandoni. She is uh, the producer for Mzansi Music Ensemble who can are dedicated, just, as you've heard, to performing in South Africa. Yes. tell you guys where we're going to be performing? Okay. <laughs> we are going to be performing at the Market Theatre mm -hmm. from the 30th of July to the 2nd of August, which is this Thursday to Sunday. 30th of July to the 2nd of August, of August at, at the Market, the market Theatre, Theater. the John Carney Theatre. Well, there you have it. You've saved someone some data so they don't have to go <laughs> and Google it. We'll leave it there at least for now. Quick ad break. Stay with us. Okay. Thank you.